Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you have a lollipop, nougat, or marshmallow device that does not have the Google Assistant and you want to get it on there, today we're going to go through a process that will show us how to enable this on these devices without needing root. This is TK and this is XDA TV. The process is put out in an article that was posted on the portal. Michelle put out an article a couple of days ago, and you just want to be able to follow through and just do the steps that we have. I want to say definitely thank you to Nikki, Nick Hull Kumar 038, the actual XDA member that put together the process and has been testing on a couple of tablets. Now, since I don't have any tablets running Lollipop, I do have an Oppo device that's technically a phablet, close enough that is running Lollipop and we'll go out through doing this process. There's a couple of things that you could do. You can either use method one using the using uh, the action launcher or you can use Nova. And since I like Nova, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it there. The first thing we wanna make sure is on any Lollipop based device. So I am running here, uh, this is uh, running on the Oppo device. So about phone, we're running Android 5.1.1. I made sure that all my applications are updated, my Google Play services and my Google app is installed correctly. And I also installed the Nova launcher as there's two different steps here. You can either use the action launcher or Nova. I like Nova, so I went with that. You go into widgets and then you go under activities, press and hold, and then go straight into the home screen. And then we're gonna add an activity. The reason why I said make sure you update everything is so that there's no issues as far as compatibility. If you have the latest apps, you should be fine. The last thing we need to do here is just go down and find the Google application. And uh, let's scroll down, here it is expand and then go almost all the way to the bottom of that list. And so you'll see where is it, where it's right there. So we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom. And then the one we're gonna be looking for is com.google android apps, GSA, static plugins, OPA HQ, OPA uh, HQ activity. So it's almost at the bottom of the list. If you notice, I'm almost at the bottom. So it's one, two, three, four, five from the bottom of the list. Uh, or sorry, six from the bottom of the list. Press it, you're gonna notice that that little activity now looks like the Google Assistant. That's, par that's partially the, you know, most of the hardest part that you're gonna to need to do. The next thing we need to do is activate it. Be aware though that once you activate it, it doesn't, there's no way to uninstall it without rolling back a whole bunch of things on your device. So if you wanna definitely get the assistant, this is the way to do it. Turning it on will take you into a tab where it says explore and your stuff. It still doesn't have it. For me, it's on because I've already gone through this process to test it out, but for you, you're not gonna have this tab. So what you're gonna to need to do is you go under your stuff and then you say, add a reminder. Once you do that tab, if you already, if you didn't have the assistant installed before, it's going to take you through the process of setting it up. Now you have the Google assistant turned on and set up. It'll even take you through the voice training process to be able to initiate the assistant by using your voice. Again, Google now on tap is no longer going to be available. The assistant will take over. So what will happen now is I can actually use my voice and I'm going to mute this part so I don't initiate everybody else's phone. You can see here that the Google Assistant was turned on by my voice and it's actually now recording or at least try to type everything I'm saying. You can use it the normal way it runs and it really, really just, it's really nice to see that we can actually get this thing on Lollipop. This is again, the only way to do it without having root. And I just use a root checker to tell you guys that I don't have root. The process is very simple. Just make sure you have the latest version of the applications installed on your system, download Nova Launcher and follow the steps. Of course, I'm gonna give you guys a link in the description to the article so that you can follow the step-by-step -step without having to watch the entire video. But as usual, like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you very much for the support. Check out my channel as usual and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.